Hi guys, it's VR Life with Kelly, and I'm doing something totally different. Nearby right. badge. Hold on. Face centered. Centered. Speech off. So what I'm about to do is ask my Be My Eyes volunteers what they think about what happened to me today. So this video is totally different. I've never done anything like this, but I do think that I am going to continue doing these type of videos going forward. So if you're interested in finding out my Be My Eyes volunteers opinions on my hot topic, then keep watching. This is Vlogmas Day 15, 10 days and counting to Christmas, guys. And we're going to keep the ball rolling. You never know what's happening next over here with VI Life with Kelly. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you down real quick for like five seconds while I try to hold on. And I probably got y'all looking in the kitchen. Let me see. Open be my eyes. Usually I would ask one of my sisters what they think. But nobody's available because everybody's doing their last minute shopping and all that. Getting their houses together and all that. I haven't felt like doing anything, y'all. I can imagine. I could see myself thoroughly waking up in the middle of the night one night and staying up for like two days and getting the whole house ready. Like that's the type of stuff I do sometimes for Christmas. If I don't do it when I wanted to do it, which was in October, then this is what happens, guys. All right, we're calling a volunteer. Let's see. Let's see what happens. The volunteers I had. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Um, I actually am calling to ask your opinion about something. Sure. So earlier today, um, so. I started seeing this guy on um, less than like two weeks ago, okay? Uh -huh. And he asked me what I wanted for Christmas, right? Uh -huh. So I told him and he sent me out shopping today to get the item, right? Right. As well as a couple things for his daughter. Okay, cool. So, um... I went out, the particular item that I wanted, they didn't have it, but they had something comparable. And it was less expensive, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a jewelry item, okay? So, I ended, up, I ended up seeing two pairs of earrings that I really liked, and they didn't have the exact one that I came there looking for. Mm -hmm. So, he says that I had to pick one. Okay, so that was cool, right? Okay, as I'm paying for the item, he says, you ready for this? I'm ready. I've never spent this much money on a woman before, and I haven't sampled the poom poom. I'm going to say it like that. That's what he said. <laughs> then he takes it a step. I'm sitting at the counter paying, okay? And then he says... I'm, you know, I don't know if the milk is sour. Well, that's a little, that's a little disrespectful. Like, then he know, says, he shouldn't, have put, he shouldn't have put the offer out there for you to, you know, go and buy yourself something from him for Christmas. If like, he wanted to be all, you know, wishy-washy about it, like, and throw out his comments. That's my opinion on it. Like. I don't think the comments were necessary. Well, then he goes a step further and he says, now that um you've gotten what you want, I wonder if Santa's going to give me what I want, right? So okay. I'm wondering, what would you do? If that happened to you, would you A, just politely get off the phone and disappear? Would you B, send him his money back and just like a no th thanks but no thanks text and block him would you see take the time out to tell him how disrespected you feel or a combination of any of it or like what would you do what would be you know, your I think that it's really important to hold people accountable sometimes and when they make you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. like it's important to let them know that like Mm -hmm. They made you feel uncomfortable. So, mm -hmm. and you know what? I think 
I think returning it just so that you can say like, you know, here's what mm-hmm. you you technically think that you owed me. Like I don't feel like I owe you anything. Your mm-hmm. comments were disrespectful, and like I think the thank you but no thank you is like the best way to go about it. Honestly, just oh. like you know, here's here's what you gave me. I don't you know I don't have interest in it anymore. Mm-hmm. And just like move on from it. It does, that just doesn't seem like good news, especially for somebody you haven't known for so long. Nope. To already be throwing out those comments that just, like, are just genuinely disrespectful. So, let me tell you this. So, he called, and I told him that I got embarrassed today, right? Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, wow, what happened? I was like, well, it's the comments that you made earlier. And he was like, oh, wow, I didn't know... A, other people could hear our conversation i was like it's not other people it's me like i can't and so then he's like i'm sorry he's like oh so i guess you're sensitive so i i got off the phone because i was like you deduced those statements down to i'm being sensitive and now it's like a joke but it's not a joke you know what i mean yes Right. What would be the advice then? Okay, so you're you're voting on return the money and thanks but no thanks text. Yes, I think that's gonna be the way to do it. I don't think. Mm-hmm. I think he just needs to learn that lesson of mm-hmm. he bought, you know he made a comment and made somebody uncomfortable and he mm-hmm. lost that opportunity. So yeah. Hopefully he learns from that. Right. Absolutely. I so appreciate you. I know this yeah, is an absolutely. abnormal request, but I just really wanted somebody to talk to and ask. Exactly. Well, have a wonderful holiday, and I appreciate you being available. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your holiday as well. Bye bye. Okay, guys, so that's one vote. Let me see. One face center. Face center. Okay. Speech off. So that's one vote. Let's get the next caller. We're only going to call three people, guys. So the best two out of three. Now, some of y'all are saying. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Um, How can I help you? Sure. I have an unusual request. I actually wanted to see what your advice was going to be about what happened to me today. Okay. So I started dating this guy within like less than two weeks and um he asked me what i wanted for christmas and i told him so he sent me today out to pick it up in addition to a couple things for his daughter right okay so that was cool so um while i was at the counter looking for what i wanted um they didn't actually have the pair of earrings i was going for but they had these other two pair that i really liked that were comparable so he said that I could I could only pick one. I had to pick one. So I was like, okay, that's so that was cool. So as I'm paying for them, he tells me, "You ready for this?" Go ahead. Wow, this is the most money I've ever spent on a woman without sampling the pum pum, basically. 
Then he goes with the second line, like, um, I don't know if the milk is sour. And, like, um, you know, now that you've gotten what you want, I wonder if Santa's going to get me what I want. What 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 would like what would you do in a situation like that? Like, of course we're not gonna make a scene in the store, but like, would you just not talk so to? You, so you've only you've only known him for two weeks. Yes, less than that. I think it's time to cut your losses. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and he's not. He's only interested in one thing, and don't don't lose your dignity for a pair of earrings. Preach on that. Now, would you kindly just send the money back? Thanks, but no thanks. Would you yes. feel like you need... Okay, yes. Okay, perfect. 100%. 100%. Yes. You know, when you have a feeling like that, mm -hmm. even ask for the question, yes. you already know the answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I can tell just by the fact that you're thinking about this. Mm-hmm. No. Christmas or not, you know, you'll get blessings in other ways. You don't need that piece of ear, those earrings. No, I don't need, it just tainted everything. You know what I mean? It just sour. It like, I was like, wow, what a comment. I mean. Right, and you don't even want a gift from somebody like no. that. No. You have a good heart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not at all. I was um I was just devastated. But I'm so glad and thankful that you were available. Um Well, I, me too. I'm so happy to be able to talk to you. And do you do you know um you know how you can get your Oh, wow. I did not know that. So, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. just, you, don't, you want to be with somebody with a good heart. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. You have You're a, welcome. Have, have a good holiday. You, you don't too. Need those earrings. You're probably shining without them. Ah, yes, that's correct. I love it. And you have a wonderful night. You too. Bye bye. Nicole. Okay, guys, hopefully one of these callers, hopefully this last caller is a guy. Let's see what they say. Let's see what's going on, guys. Hmm. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Wonderful, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I have an unusual request. I had wanted to get some advice, if you didn't mind. Absolutely. So um, today, um, I started seeing this guy about two weeks ago. Okay. And um, he asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and he sent me to go get it and a couple of things for his daughter today, right? Okay. So as I was sitting at the counter, you know, looking at what it is that I wanted, uh, which was a pair of earrings, um, they didn't have the exact ones I was looking for, but they had like two other pair that were comparable. So I'm like, you know, I love these. He's like, okay, well you have, you can get one of them. I'm like, okay, perfect. So as I'm paying for them, he makes this statement. Are you ready? I am. Let's hear it, girl. He says wow um i've never spent this much money before on a woman that i've not sampled the poom poom that i was not what sampled the poom poom <laughs> and then he goes forward with um i don't know if the milk is sour and oh, hell no. and now that you know you've gotten what you want wanted out I wonder if Santa's gonna get me what I want. Oh, girl. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, like, would you like just fade to black? Would you 
send the money back like thanks no thanks block would you waste your time telling them like how inappropriate like what would you do all right i got a few questions i got a few follow-up questions for you okay you called the right one um, <laughs> how much were these earrings um 475 before tax okay that's a that's a pretty penny how long have you been seeing this man less than two weeks Right. That's very recent. That's pretty quick. Um, I don't know. That's just like a very rude statement. Yes. I personally would not give him this money or the earrings back because they were a gift. Mm hmm. And you've been seeing it for two weeks. I mean, that was his prerogative to buy you those earrings. Right. He did not have to do that. I mean, he was obviously fishing for something. I don't know. I could go two ways. If I really wanted to just, like, that grossed me out, and I don't want that kind of energy in my life. Yes. Just, like, take your fucking earrings. Get mm -hmm. the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. You picked the wrong one. Mm -hmm. But if I really wanted those earrings... <laughs> And he was, like, fun, and I enjoyed him, and I was going to give him the pum pum anyway at some point. <laughs> I would probably continue to see him, but also mention that it creeped me out. Yeah. I don't know. How are you feeling? What do you think? Well, my biggest problem is that it really ruined it. Um, me sitting there thinking he's doing something special yeah, and exactly. to, and there's an ulterior motive attached to it. I mean, I'm not even out the store and you're saying, <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. and then he called me and I told him, I said, you know, I got embarrassed today. And he said, Oh, what happened? I said, what you said to me? He said, Oh, I didn't know other people could hear our conversation. I said, no, it's me hearing what yeah, you that's not the issue. Not, uh, you know, and then, you know, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. But then he follows it up with, so I guess then, so you're sensitive. I'm like, oh, now I'm sensitive. You like, know, I'm a classy woman. This has nothing to do with that. I mean, for God's sake, I'm like, you, I don't know. I, I've, it was like so insulting on so many levels. Like, yeah. you know, um, I'm like, he has a daughter. He's he's not a young guy. He's fifty three, and oh, he you know you do know better. And if you don't, I mean, that's terrible that you don't have better sense than to know not to proposition. That's not a funny joke. Like that's that's some loose mouth stuff you say to if you and your spouse are that kind of way. Like I was gonna say, I would not. You know what I mean. Like, like, later. Like, I've been with my partner 12 years. I would say some shit like that to him. Full there you exposure, go. There you go. But y'all been crossed. The, been the, there years, you so. go. Like, you you make a joke like that, and y'all are already together. Like, exactly. and then you can still probably get slapped around, though. Like, don't talk to me like that $500. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Moods, yes. Yeah, you know, like... You it just depends, but that's a that's some jokes you do when y'all are together thoroughly exactly. down also, the road. If I were to say some shit like that to him, mm -hmm. he would know that I was like totally saying it in jest and that it was yes. a joke. It would not be like he would certainly not take it as I was actually expecting something from him mm -hmm. in return for this supposed kind hearted gesture. I mean, and that's the thing of it too, like you, you, it kind of makes me feel like he's low class. Like, yeah. you know, a guy that wants a woman, he's just going to come for her. It's the beginning of everything. And for me, it's like, that's when you put it all out there. You put that 
extra love, time, attention. That's Absolutely. when you, you, you know, where that person is ready to jump all over you because they're like, yes, this is the one. Right. Not no, you just, you just made me pick between two pairs of earrings that I want that was less than a thousand dollars. You know, I didn't even say when you said to me, what do I want for Christmas? I didn't pull out my wish list on you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I was I was being like you should be when it's the beginning. It's not even a month. I don't need to pull a whole wish list out on you. Now, if you in turn tell me, no, babe, go expend or have, you know, give me a budget or something. I, I'm following your lead, but I'm being appropriate for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So yeah, I, he said that there was a thousand dollar budget. No, he didn't give me a budget. He just, oh, okay. well, initially, so when he asked me what I wanted, I told him the earrings that I wanted and the price range of what they were. Because he, and I only stuck with just one thing because for me, it was like, this is the beginning. I like where this is going. Right. And this is, you know, it's sweet. I mean, you, we didn't have to do Christmas. It's only been less than two weeks. So no, it, we, also, I mean, mm -hmm. Man, he can afford $475, I'm yeah, he can. He's very comfortable. He's made good decisions for himself. It right. is that's not that's not even the issue at all. I mean, and what I was planning with him, you know, was easily because I wanted us to go to Brazelton to the winery resort here and do the oh, yeah. tour and do a couple's massage. That's easily another five hundred plus dollar debt. Oh, for sure. You know, so it wasn't it's not about no dollar amounts. It's about I'm not gonna proposition you as with a gift. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I did exactly. this, you owed me. Oh, <laughs> and such like a Ugh. Oh my gosh. I know. Because, I mean, listen, like, if he just wanted to have sex and mm -hmm. things, like, mm -hmm. he could have taken you out, like, mm -hmm. gone to this resort, mm -hmm. like, obvious, and this massage, like, that's mm -hmm. the kind of environment that that's going to happen either way. I mean, at least for myself, that's mm -hmm. for you. Right. But, like, that's like a romantic. Thank you. Way. Like, obviously, you're going to have sex with. <laughs> It it could it could be a strong possibility, but it's right. it's yeah. building. <laughs> the thing is, it's building on its own natural. However, it's gonna exactly. go. But and you don't tell me. Yeah, or... with the whole I don't know if the milk is sour. Who says that? Like, yeah, what is? That gives me like real creep vibes. Yeah. No thanks. I'm like, wow. No. Yeah, you know, there's for me. I was getting my earrings whether I knew him or not because that's just the things that I do. Um, you know, and so for me, it's nothing to send the money back like that. I could care less. And the whole thanks and no thanks. Seal it with a kiss. You know what I mean? Bye. Yeah. Because I'm just not on it. And I don't like... You know, some people will be like, well, write it, you know, write the pros and the cons down. Some people just need, you know, you to whip them into shape, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not that serious. Mm -mm. I mean, it's been two weeks. Thank you. He's kind of already leaving a bad taste in your mm -hmm. mouth. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously that was super inappropriate. Is he usually like a gentleman? So it's like so we went out on two two dates and yeah two dates in the last weekend. So we were we went out on Saturday night. We went out on Sunday. Super sweet. Everything was great. Like dinner. We went to um Mall of Georgia. Did um had lunch. Walked around like not no problems. Whatever you want to do. Super hospitable and accommodating. It's just some of his statements kind of catch you off guard, you know, and I feel like what it is because I come across a lot of people like this. Um, They're either lonely um, or they're just getting out of re like relationships that were just, you know, and they're like, just want to jump in back into something right now. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, exactly. They want to be comfortable again. Yeah. And just skip the process. You know what I mean? Like. Totally. 
and just hurry it up and then you know like and it's like it's almost like what's your price you know what i mean like just give me your number so we can get in this bit exactly. and and he he's even said you know at come over let's snuggle let's watch tv let's you know i'm like uh no i don't just and i'm so ocd if I'm in a committed relationship with a guy, it's like, how many people you slept with in this mattress? Because you're going to have to get a new mattress oh, before oh, I even. Sure. <laughs> like, I don't know who the last one was up in here, but all this stuff got to go. And, yeah. and, you know, and that's not even saying nothing's going to happen for real, for real. But if you want me to feel comfortable to feel enough like this is our place. It's going to be an investment that goes down on this place. Yeah. You know, I mean, two weeks is not like a no, and let's no, like, no, like a six situation. you're rushing me and stressing me out. I'm like, and why? And then you try to be like, you know, you try to, I'm like, no, this is, this is, if my sister was available to talk. By the time I finish telling her this stuff, I'll be telling her, like, I'm sleepy, girl. I don't even have no energy. <laughs> and she she laughs just like you do. Like, I told her, I said, this stuff keeps me single because I don't feel like it. Like, no. You know what I mean? No. And it's not worth, like, lowering your own standards. No. For some man who sounds like he's used to a different class of lady. Come on. Come on. I'm like, no. So I so appreciate you for being available and giving of me your course. advice. I know this was unusual, but no, I need it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I so appreciate you for being available for us on Be My Eyes and have of course. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My name's Josh. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thanks, Josh. And I'm Kelly all the way in Kelly, Georgia. Yes. You're going to find you a good man. Thank don't, don't worry about this, dude. He seems like a sketcher. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. All right. Bye, girl. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Speech on. Selfie zoom. Zoom. Face. Stop. Re face centered. Okay. Speech off. Okay, guys. So... We literally just got feedback from two women and a gentleman, right? Everybody had their spin on the issue. I could have put more details in on this topic where I could have said, I could have gave y'all more background, right? Like more, 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 more. And which... Sometimes more background is good and sometimes it's bad. Sometimes we need to just keep stuff simple. You know, it's down to principles lots of times. Like, you know, we can choose to put whatever spin we want to put on red flags, on things that do not work for us, on deal breakers. Um, We can't. I was watching something not too long ago where it said... If the man does not treat you like a queen from the beginning, he never will. If he does not treat you like a queen from the beginning, he never will. And I mean, I believe that goes both ways. If this woman doesn't honor you like her king from the beginning, she never will. Y'all are not a match. And talking to me like that will never work it will never ever work it just won't and let me say this not to say that a man has to be perfect not to say that a man can't be flirty and fun not to say that people don't make mistakes but when i bring it up to you if you try to make me rethink how i feel or try to tell me that i'm sensitive or try to tell me um that i'm tripping and then hang up in my face don't even worry. I'm we're not a match because I'm gonna tell you like this. Same scenario with the man that I am supposed to be with. He will apologize. He will say, "Babe, I never want you to feel that way, regardless of whatever my intentions was. The fact that that 
came across like that. I will never do that again. He would have been on some other stuff. It would have been no hang up in my face. Babe, when I get home, can I see you? You know what? Let's go eat. Let's go block. He will come up with something. He would fight for it. You don't hang up in somebody's face. You don't try to throw it back on them. Make them think it's them. Oh, no. I feel like anytime disagreements come up between um, two people in a committed relationship, they should stop and think, how would I feel or how would I think about this situation if this was my daughter or my son telling me this same thing? That's what I want to say. The gentleman that may have been in this situation do you feel comfortable to tell your mom this scenario and have her tell you what she thinks about it? Would you feel good to say, mom, I sent the girl to the mall and um, she was picking up stuff for my daughter. I told her she could get, and I said this to her while she was paying and she's just sensitive. See what your mom thinks. See if your mom doesn't say like, wow, I cannot believe you said that to her. I can't believe she didn't cuss you out. Did she cuss you out, son? Did she rip you to shreds, son? Like, I didn't know that I raised you like that, like that. I taught you that that was acceptable like that. You, that's how you're supposed to come for women. Like, that's how you pursue a woman. That brought you into her life, that welcomed you into her life, shared her church, her place. Like, this woman was serious about you. She never once came at you sideways like she's on that page. It's been less than, I mean, seriously. If we start looking at one another as someone's child in the energy and the manner that we present one ourselves to each other and we think about okay the mess I'm the slick stuff I'm about to come out my mouth and say would I want my daughter my auntie my mother to be approached in this my son my father my uncle my nephew my niece is this acceptable for them it don't and it, if you say something like well we all grown you know, if you say anything loose, then we just already know what it is. You just, that's what y'all are on. But I'm not, y'all. I'm not. I don't like it. And what was interesting was how, like, the last two callers, they were like, don't, don't sell yourself short for some earrings, y'all. They was really worried about me, like, really want these earrings so bad that I'd be willing to go ahead on and deal with it. Like, okay, he's just joking and all that. Y'all, that's, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like, oh, that's okay. He said he's sorry. Maybe I am being sensitive. Like, oh, it's Christmas. You know, y'all, anyway, enough about this topic. I would love to read your comments. If you don't feel comfortable to put comments down publicly, you're always welcome to email me, vilifewithkelly at gmail.com. I will have it in the description box. It's definitely in my About Me section. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. It's Vlogmas Day 15. 10 days to Christmas, y'all. The next clip, I will be in Perimeter Mall hunting down Christmas goodies. Y'all, I am still on the hunt for Santa and Mrs. Claus. Black American Santa and Black American Mrs. Claus. I am still on the hunt for them. I'm still on the hunt for my garland to go around the other side of my tree skirt. I am still on the hunt for just a few things around here. So, y'all, um, the next few clips will be me on the hunt, getting things done.
I am feeling some type of way. Okay, y'all, let me say this real, real quick. Um, Friends and family for Bloomingdale's ends tonight. So if there's things that you needed to get, go online. I forgot to tell y'all earlier, and this is because I didn't um, remember. I was upset, remember? Um, if you want beauty and fragrance items at Bloomingdale's, they're giving them to you. If you spend $150, you get $25 off. And if you spend $200 before tax, then you get $50 in Bloomingdale gift cards. It's $25 per $100 you spend. So basically, if you spend the $200, you're going to pay $175 plus tax out the door. And then you're going to get a $50 gift card. Guess when you get to use the gift card? Tomorrow, guys. So... If you're buying gift sets, perfumes, fragrances, skincare for him, for her, for everybody, um, this is the time to get it. Once um, once again, there's things that's 25% off store wide. And um, if you're going to buy handbags from Bloomingdale's, this is a good time to get them because you get $25 gift card per $100. So if you're going to buy you know, a uh, six or eight hundred dollar MCM bag, then you already see you're getting what six times twenty five is one fifty. So you'd get a hundred and fifty dollars in gift cards. So this is the time to buy an MCM backpack or Burberry bag or Chloe or Marc Jacobs or whatever guys and Bloomingdale's has a lot of brands online that they don't keep in our store here in Atlanta. Um but that's what I wanted to tell y'all. Um, I did find Nina's, um, I did find Nina's, uh, Uggs. And so, you know what I'll do? I'm going to do another upload before y'all see me in Perimeter Mall. I'm just going to go over what it, exactly what I found at the, um, Linux Mall today. So y'all could see it. And, um, I'm really, really, really behind on uploading and putting, posting pictures on IG, but I am going to spend some time tonight um posting pictures of me in Bloomingdale's um with the three different sizes on this Marc Jacob tote in slate green um they're 150 175 and 195 is the price which I thought was a really great price for um a Marc Jacobs full size tote um and they're nice starter bags for you know your teenagers you know junior high high school it's not too flashy where people want to steal it but it is eye candy and um designer so um that's a good price point um and so i will post those pictures on my ig guys um right now and i will do a mini video and i'll show you guys what i picked up out of neiman's um and out of the Chanel boutique as well as Bloomingdale's guys. So anyways, see you guys in the next clip and that's in about five, four, three, two, and one. Escape centered. Stop recording. Selfie zoom. Stop recording.